Hello guys, welcome back to a Small Canadian Beekeeper. My name is Alan. Uh, today I'm at my hives, one of, my, one of the spot on my, where my hives are, um, at the lake. Uh, I call it the lake, uh, as you've seen in one of the videos where one of my, pro my project is or was this spring and is this summer. Um, here I have uh, three hives. As you can see right now, I have three hives right there, and I'll be setting up two more. These were all hives that were made with uh, my um, my splits. So um, not splits, but or um, no, made with my splits and uh, all the virgin queens that I created. So um, I think uh, a lot of questions were also my mating nukes. Uh, how it was made and all that I'll show you I have one with me here um, and I have bees in them and and a queen so I'll uh, show you uh, the main nukes that I have and the two different of them there's one with a, some call them a queen castle I think uh, it's um, four remaining nukes in one and I have a single one remaining nuke five frame so uh, I'll be showing the transfer of the bees and uh, the, the nukes from from the nukes to the, the hives. So here is my uh, small uh, five frame nuke. I have a virgin queen in it. Uh, I checked it and she's, uh, there's not a lot of bees. Here is my, uh, here's my other nukes, mating nukes with a possibility of four, uh, four nukes in it, uh, four two frames. We'll be opening it shortly. Uh, they're all blocked the entrance uh, for transportation uh, the reason I think why this one has not, not all the bees is uh, when I created them uh, here I had uh, two successful queen I took one of this one and put it in a five frame nuke but I think since they were too close uh, majority of the bees came went from the five frame to, to this uh, mating nuke because this one's pretty heavy and we'll find out when we open it. Um, all you see, as you can see, there is four entrants in it or on it. Uh, they're all blocks except this one because that one, there was no bees and there was a division. So me, when I uh, to give them more room, you'll see when I open it, there is three division in it and the possibility of the four two frames. And I open it to make sure to give more rooms for the bees. So it's simple to make. It's a normal uh, hive box uh, with four entrants. And uh, I took a brood box and uh, I made uh, slots in them to put a slider. So to act as division. And uh, underneath uh, this uh, cover, hive cover, there is uh, four little covers that you'll see and um, to prevent the bees coming out and in and out so they'll uh, since there's not all the bees in the in this five frame five frame nuke i'll probably take some of these uh, bees and put them in this one so i have a feeling that they'll be staying in this one because they are in different location and when they'll come out of uh, these nukes of these um, hive box They'll uh, do an orientation flight and they're uh, going to uh, stay with the hive. I'm trying new covers. Uh, they call them migratory covers instead of a hive top, telescoping hive top cover. Um, reason I want to try it is for uh, accessibility to the hive and quickness. As you can see, there's a hole on top for feeding. So just take the, you can take the cover, put a pail upside down and feed them. You don't need like this one, put another box on top and have a feeder inside. You just need to put a, a feeder on top here. So it's easier and it's easier to open. You don't need a uh, inner cover. There's no inner cover underneath. And also, so in the cover I left them in the truck since I'm not using those kind of uh, up tops. So uh, and uh, 
I wanna, what I want to figure out this year is uh, see how it works because they're all put closer together. So I think this winter is going to be a little bit better to keep them warmer. So they're going to be closer together. So I'll wrap them with uh, in twos. So it's going to be easier to wrap them probably. And easier to to um, to maintain them in the in the winter. So I'll start with the uh, taking the the bees from the the, the nukes and transfer them to the to so the we'll hives. open up the nuke. So as you can see, there's not a lot of the bees in in them. They got a little bit a little bit moved when I brought them here. So what I'll do is put them inside here. I'll, I'll transfer them immediately. It's gonna be hard to do one-handed, but I think it's feasible. Got an old frame here. Queen's not on the bottom. For sure the queen's still on the frame here. Haven't seen any eggs, but there's a lot of honey. Probably there's some, some all the honey go, goes around it. So I'm pretty sure there's eggs in the middle. The queen's not there. So I'll put them in the middle here. Hopefully the queen's on this one. There's the queen. And we got eggs. So hopefully try to zoom in hopefully you'll be able to see them I see the eggs so she's a mated queen the only issue is there is not a lot of bees so they're humming for their queen this is a non wax frame so I'll I'll put a dendrit frame in it So, okay, so that's for this one. I'll cool, close her up for a bit. So what we'll do is, just put this here, they'll go in. So what I'll do is I'll open this this hive, show you how it's built. Probably, the, probably the bees will will be flying like hell. Okay. <coughs> so inside the cover, there's four division. So the, there is a two frame here, two frame here, two frame here, and two frame. Possibly they put two frame there. So in between. There is a quarter inch board that goes away to the bottom between each each one. So on this one there is none. On this side there is none. I took them out to make more room for the bees because they were expanding pretty fast. So we'll open them and transfer them as quick as we can and try to find for the queen. So I'll put the, the video, I'll put the the camera on the side. Just to make sure I have both hands.
this is pretty much it. So I put two frames of bees in the smaller one. Hopefully I didn't see the queen, hopefully she wasn't on it. And uh, I've put uh, the rest of the bees in this. Uh, couldn't find the queen. Too many bees in them to find the queen. So they're pretty much one, two, three, four, four or five frames full of bees in here. So I had to clean the box a bit. So, uh, and there's honey enough and pollen enough in them. So hopefully the queen wasn't there. So we'll, uh, I'll come check in probably a couple of uh, a weeks if there were some eggs. So there was eggs in this one for sure. And the queen is marked. And we'll come and check this one. The last time I checked when I built this one, there was a queen in it. Was she mated? Was she caught when she was mated? Not too sure. So we'll find out. They're roaring. You can hear them from now, from here. So, uh, so thanks for joining me. That's pretty much it. Wanted to show you uh, my, uh, my, how I call it, my uh, mating nuke. Uh, possibly of four mating nukes in one. So this is how the bottom is made with dividers and all that. And you see it's made with a uh, with a normal brood box and slots in them. So I can put a divider in it. So it's big enough for two frames. For four two frames. And uh, I built some uh, small covers that goes on top of each of each one. So uh, they're all separated. And you put a normal uh, cover on it. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll be posting some more in a couple of weeks. Here is my uh, temporary garage. Just wanted to show you that. My temporary garage where all my equipment is in it. And uh, for those who are waiting for Massey's uh, Ferguson updates, they will be coming soon.